Let's talk about our schools and kids because I know the baton or even the Olympic touch serves as good motivation. Is it going to the schools? Of course, okay, it will go to the schools because um, the Gold Coast 2018 Commonwealth Games Organizing Committee wants to leave lasting impression on the youth, school children especially. So there's what they call the School Connect program, mm. which um, uh, uh, every country in the Commonwealth is given the opportunity of connecting a school in their various nations with another school in Gold Coast. So we have a school connected from Nigeria uh, under the uh, School Connect program. Okay. That's the NOC Partner School, Green Springs. Okay. And so the Queen's Baton will be visiting Green Springs on the 4th, 4th of April. Mm. Uh, and uh, it's to create excitement among the kids to celebrate the Baton also. Mm. So right, uh, right from the morning, we take the Baton to Green Springs. Okay. where it will be celebrated by the children. Mm. And then we also have the uh, opportunity of visiting His Royal Majesty of uh, S.A. Legushi in Lake Ide. Okay. And then, of course, um, we touch the uh, British Council uh, before uh, close, uh, wrapping up for the day. It has gone yes. practically everywhere in Lagos. <laughs> oh, is it coming to Channels TV? Of course. If you want us to... <laughs> you, you should put, come to Channels TV. You put the money on the ground. Ah, I don't know about that one. That, that's a good one. Okay, um, if I let you go... We are doing this, um, and the essence is to announce the 2018 Commonwealth Games. I hope we're doing the same in preparing for the Games itself. Of course, like the chairman of the main organizing committee mentioned today at the press conference, uh, we didn't have to wait for the button for hmm. actual preparation for the Commonwealth Games to take off. Like, uh, our athletes are actually in training, taking part in various competitions uh, worldwide. Uh, aside from the open campaign that will come later. So, uh, and the Nigeria Olympic Committee also provides platforms for athletes to access international training scholarship. Okay. So we have this mm. ongoing uh, in, uh, with our, in, in line with our collaboration with the International Olympic Committees. We have athletes on International Olympic Committee uh, scholarships. This grants them access to uh, world-class facilities yeah. worldwide. Because we know that we know the talks before the games comes up now, yes. talks of preparations and, and people not uh, at least not getting ready and all of that. Let's not celebrate the battle and then we'll go to go to Australia. <laughs> no. It will be complaints, complaints, complaints. No, 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 no. What I, else do you have to tell us? We'll let you go. Uh, well, I just want to say that we need the support of everyone, mm. especially channels, the, the the media. We need the support of the media. We need the support of the corporate sector in Nigeria to move our sports forward. Mm. And as we look forward to the uh, 2018 Commonwealth Games, uh, please, we need the support of all to be able to maintain the uh, good performance of Nigerian teams at the Commonwealth Games and also looking towards Tokyo 2020. Mm. Uh, you know, so, but um, uh, the attitude of the corporate sector to sports in Nigeria needs to be changed mm. you know, as, uh, to what is obtainable worldwide. So, so as to move, uh, move our sports forward. Government mm. alone cannot do it. That's right. So we yes. need to do those things that will make corporates Nigeria come into our sports. We need to be accountable. We need to be credible. We, are. we need to package it we properly. Are. Well, you can speak for the NOC. <laughs> speak for the NOC and that's okay. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Emmanuel. Thank you very much. For, for coming around thank to talk about much. the Queen's Baton, really.